Hello everyone, my name is Quadly and welcome to a quick guide to getting Kavad Genetic Code. Kavad Genetic Code is used for two things, one is getting the actual Kavad as your companion, and the other one is Korra, a very fun and also powerful Warframe to play with. Kavad Genetic Code can be acquired only from feral Kavads that are running around Deimos, any node besides the Cambion Drift and the Necrolisk. My favorite places are Horrent Capture and Filiges Exterminate just because they are very quick. You can also try for Mido Sabotage or Terror Realm Survival. Terror Realm will spawn Kavats every 5 minutes or so, so you should get some this way. The spawn rate of Kavats is pretty inconsistent, sometimes you will get up to 6 or even 8 per mission, and sometimes just none. Most of the time they will spawn in groups of 2 or 3, so be sure to look around. By instinct, you probably just want to kill them and get the Kavad genetic code, but sadly it doesn't work this way. You do not want to kill the feral Kavats, but scan them, which is not such an easy task to do, actually. They most of the time are cloaked and are not detectable with the normal radar, so looking for them with a scanner is a must. For scanning the Kavats, you'll need to get yourself some normal scanners from the market or synthesis scanners from Semaris. Sadly, if you have Helios as your companion sentinel, he will not be able to scan them if you already reached the limit, so you will be on your own for this one. A feral Kavad that is cloaked looks like this. You just need to scan it, and that's it. It's pretty straightforward. The chance you will get one genetic code is about 25% from one scan, so you should get one after scanning about four Kavats. Obviously, there is some other ways as well to get more and we are going to go through that right now. First two ones are pretty legit, the resource boosters and resource double boosters. The first one amps up the drop chance of scanning to 50% from 25 and the latter one just gives you two genetic codes instead of one. If you by some random chance have Ballistica Prime, you may use it to your advantage. Shooting the Feral Kavat after you scan it once will kill it and, in its place, make a new shadowy one. This shadow will go away quite quickly, but if you do scan it, it will count as a normal Feral Kavat. So yeah, double the Kavats. If you do not want to use the scanners, you may use any kind of helicor you have, a hammer that scans enemies you kill, so you can literally just squeeze the genetic code out of the Kavats. Pretty immoral and unethical, but it is a feature, so yeah. That's it about the scanning ways and techniques and stuff like that, so right now I'm just going to give you a few tips, I guess. Most of the time the Kavats will be just jumping around and there will be a lot of infested that attack you, so you really need to be good with scanning and also have a lot of patience, or you need some Warframe that keeps the Kavats in place. Warframes that do that are Evara, Equinox, Atlas, Frost, Harrow, and so on and so on. Remember though, you do not want to kill the poor kitties. The second tip is also quite a useful one. In case you don't know, the Orokin Vaults on Deimos will give you some quite good mods. Having keys on yourself in that case is very recommended, even though the missions might get quite a bit harder. The third tip is a very important one, if you really need Kavad genetic codes, do the scanning solo or in a squad, of which it is a goal. There has been many instances I've seen of people screaming at each other over a forever sleeping Kavat. So yeah, this is more of a nerve soothing tip, I guess. That's actually it. If you're farming your genetic code for a Kavat, a Smita Kavat is definitely one of the best absolute best picks for a companion. This is a picture of me and my Kavat farming toroids. Toroids are a very rare resource sometimes and are nerve-wracking to get and you really need a lot of them. So yeah, they're I think comparable to new roads. A bit more common but not much. So yeah, for real, I can't recommend Kavats more than by showing this. This is literally insane. Talking about Kavats, the Kavat lady of Warframe, Korra, is besides Necros one of the best Warframes to farm resources with from enemies. Extremely good actually, even better than Necros if modded right. But for real, that is really it. Thank you for watching, please like, comment, share, or maybe even subscribe, ask me anything you want down in the comments, and also, have a nice day. Bye guys!